So the next example to look at here is to think about acetic acid versus ethanol. In this case, we have a different set of comparisons to consider. We want to think about the acidity of this acid versus this one, acetic acid versus ethanol. Okay, so in this problem, you want to think first about what type of hydrogen you're going to consider in this acidity problem. You're going to look for the hydrogen most likely attached to the most electronegative atom in the molecule. So it's going to be this hydrogen that I've put in the box here. Okay. Next thing you'll look at is what's it attached to. And in both cases, it's attached to oxygen. So that first group of acidity comparisons, the one where we used HF and HCl and HBr, that one doesn't work for you because hydrogen is attached to oxygen in both cases. So you need some other way to compare these molecules. You're probably in these problems going to want to think about the stability of the conjugate base. So I'm going to draw the conjugate base here. for each of them. Okay, so there are conjugate bases drawn as Lewis structures. And now I'm going to try to use inductive effect to think about the differences in acidity. So what I need to do is look at the two molecules and ask myself what's different, what's changed between them. And what's changed is that the hydrogens here in ethanol are being replaced by an oxygen in acetic acid. So if I want to use inductive effect here, what I might do is I might say, OK, I've got an oxygen now. That's much more electronegative than hydrogen. It's going to pull electron density towards itself. If it pulls it away from the carbon that the oxy that oxygen's attached to, that carbon is going to try to recover some of the lost electron density by pulling it from its neighbors. And if it was more distant, would do it a little bit from its neighbors as well. It just keeps passing it down the line. And ultimately, the effect here is that this negatively charged oxygen in the conjugate base of acetic acid has some of its electronegativity pulled towards the neutral oxygen. Okay. That effect um, is in comparison to the case where we have hydrogens uh, in acetic acid. So, or sorry where we have hydrogens in ethanol. Okay. So here, inductive effect stabilizes the conjugate base acetate. And that makes it a stronger acid. Okay, so that's one explanation 
that addresses the question, why is acetic acid a stronger acid than ethanol? There's really a big difference in acidity between them. It's 12 orders of magnitude. The other effect that plays a role here is the effect that's called resonance effect. And in resonance effect, we're going to use the pi bonds in the molecule to think about delocalization of charge. So here we have a negative charge on this one oxygen. And one thing we can do is we can draw a resonance structure of this molecule that allows us to reorganize the electrons and get a better picture of what acetic acid might really look like. So the movement of electrons that we're going to use here is we're going to take one pair of electrons from the negatively charged oxygen. We're going to move it towards the attached carbon. That's going to make a new bond between that oxygen and carbon. When we do that, we have to shift two electrons away from the carbon in the carboxylic acid because it's already got eight electrons in its valence shell, and they have to get moved to the other oxygen. The resulting resonance structure is this one. Okay. So by drawing these two resonance structures, you show a way to delocalize the electrons between the two oxygens in acetic acid. And if you look at these two structures, they're both essentially identical to one another, except which oxygen's negatively charged and which one's neutral. Okay. So these two resonance contributors are both exactly equal in stability. They're both the best Lewis structures for acetic acid, so they both contribute strongly to the overall picture of acetic acid. And the result is that you get a very efficiently delocalized charge. That charge delocalization has the same effect here. If you delocalize charge, you increase the stability of whatever species you're looking at, and here, if you increase the stability of the conjugate base of acetic acid, you allow that acid-base equilibrium where acetic acid transfers its proton to water to go more towards the product side. Okay. So acetic acid is a stronger acid than ethanol for two reasons. One, the inductive effect of oxygen might be a good explanation, um, delocalizing electrons. And secondly, the fact that you can draw these two resonance structures um, gives you a second reason for stabilization.